So you think you've got what it takes to be the king of Fortnite, huh? Well, you're wrong, because you haven't seen my final form yet. Yeah, folks, Ultra Instinct in Fortnite actually exists. And whether you think you're the best Fortnite player of all time or not, there are some Fortnite records that you just will never be- You know what? I, I don't even want to watch this. I, I just felt like I was in a place where I'm satisfied with how good I am in Fortnite, and now these guys show up and just- Ah, these records. Prepare yourselves and welcome back to Top 5 Gaming, where today we'll be counting down the top five Fortnite world records that you could never beat. Unless, of course, you somehow manage to beat them, which in that case, I, I, I salute you. <laughs> I salute you. you it, seriously, though, teach me how to play. If you're that good, seriously, send, send Top 5 Gaming a little tweet and tell us your secrets. Number five, Fortnite squad record. Nick Merckx trying to get the squad kill count record for Fortnite has a bit of history to it. Before he actually managed to pull off the world record, his team managed to get a game where they pulled a total of 54 kills, which is a pretty crazy number. The only issue is they didn't win the round, which means their world record was invalid, even though they got so many kills. So with that in mind, Merckx grabbed his team, X Amps Media, Noily, to give this crazy record a second attempt. Nick and his team drop down into Pleasant Park and immediately get to work by securing a few kills. Unfortunately, their teammate, Code Zeman, drops somewhere completely different and basically gets killed immediately, meaning Nick's team is one man down. Throughout the rest of the game, they play a really aggressive style of Fortnite, engaging basically every single time they see an enemy team. They keep up an incredibly coordinated level of play throughout the entire game, spreading out but keeping close enough together that they can provide each other with support if shit hits the fan. Everything seemed to go right for Nick's team in this game, well, apart from their teammate dying right at the beginning, and they played pretty much all of the situations they found themselves in perfectly. All of that luck and skill combined into a game where Nick and his group managed to get a combined total 55 kills, which is way more than anyone else has ever managed to achieve in a game of Fortnite Battle Royale. 55 kills? Jesus Christ. I thought it was good when I got like 10 kills. Oh boy. Number four, Fortnite 20 v 20 record. Okay, so for a start, one of the reasons you won't be able to beat this world record is because you can't even play the 20 v 20 mode at the moment. Like 20 v 20 was one of those rotation game modes where there were five different teams of 20 people all fighting for the victory royale. The last team standing instead of last person was the winner. Of course, this game mode will come back eventually, maybe not in 20 v 20 form, but in some form. But even when it does, you probably don't have a shot at beating Daquan Loco's 39 kill game. So for a start, Daquan makes a super risky play and jumps into the middle of Tilted Towers. If you thought Tilted Towers was crazy in solo or duos or squads, then seriously, you haven't seen anything yet. In the 20v20 mode, pretty much teams of 20 drop into Tilted Towers. So you usually have these giant wars of like 40 people fighting it out over Tilted. But despite how dangerous dropping into Tilted is, Daquan played it seriously well and managed to kill 23 people before even leaving Tilted to move for the next circle. By this point, there was only three people left on Daquan's team, including himself, and 20 people left on the enemy team. The odds were pretty heavily stacked against him, but I mean, apparently you should never tell Daquan the odds because he still had another 16 kills to grab before the end of the game. Yeah, that's right. He basically killed 16 of the remaining 20 enemies left on the team before the game was over. He literally almost killed half of the entire server by himself. You know what really sucks though? He would have had 40 kills if the last guy didn't blow himself up with an RPG. Number three, the longest sniper shot. There are some shots in Fortnite Battle Royale that when you see them, you just sort of don't understand how they happen. And this sniper shot is 100% one of those shots. So for a start, if you didn't realize, you can actually kill someone who's on a glider. Like just because someone uses a bounce pad later in the game and is flying around the place doesn't mean you can't pick them out of the air with a gun. Now, of course, it isn't exactly easy to do something like that. People on gliders can move around really quickly in basically any direction that they want. And they're always constantly moving downwards as well. What I'm saying is that hitting a long sniper shot against someone on a glider is probably as close to impossible as you can get in Fortnite. While Secret Senpai was standing on top of a mountain, he spotted someone moving through the air really far away. He zoomed in, and it just happened to be someone flying with a glider near Pleasant Park. A shot like this on a flying target seems one in a lifetime, but Senpai leads his shot, pulls the trigger, and takes him straight out of the air, clocking in a kill at 330 meters away. Oh my, 330 meters, what the f what did you say to me? This man just murdered my whole family. Number two, the longest Fortnite win streak. Nick Merckx is pretty good at Fortnite Battle Royale. So good, in fact, that he's on this list twice. That's right, he has two world records that you'll never be able to beat. How many squad game wins have you ever had in a row? Well, before Nick Merckx came along, the world record was 24, but late in December last year, he managed to blow that number out of the water entirely, setting the new record at 33 wins in a row. It's not like all of the wins went smoothly either. Like in game 21, where Nick Merckx had to face off in a pretty hairy situation where half his team had been taken out. 
and there were still 14 enemies left alive, yet he managed to pull out the win. Nick's win streak was finally ended on game 34, and he and his team had dropped into Greasy Grove and were immediately forced into a pretty bad gunfight. Spread across the entire Greasy Grove area, there was no way the individual teammates were able to come together to help, and they all got picked off one by one. After shotgunning a guy straight in the head and somehow not killing him, Nick got picked off and his win streak was finally over. But still, it's a pretty impressive world record and I doubt anyone is ever going to take it from him. Number one, the most viewers live on Fortnite, Ninja Plays with Drake. Now, of course, we can't exactly talk about world records without talking about what is probably the biggest event in gaming history over the past couple of years. I'm, of course, talking about the time Ninja played Fortnite alongside the legendary rapper from Canada, Drake. On the 15th of March, the two teamed up and basically made not just Fortnite history, but Twitch history by becoming the most viewed stream on Twitch in the history of the website. At the stream's peak, there were a total of around 628,000 people watching, which is insane numbers when it comes to Twitch. The last Twitch stream to have numbers even close to this was when Dr. Disrespect made his return to the website and that only pulled in 388,000 viewers, which alone isn't exactly a small feat. So basically, this stream with Ninja and Drake was almost double the number of viewers as the previous record. Now, it's not like Ninja was just playing with Drake either. He was in squads with two other pretty noteworthy people, the NFL player, FaZe Clan member, Juju Smith Scuster, and the American rapper, Travis Scott. There was even a brief cameo from the guy who created Mega Upload, Kim.com. Seriously, it was one insane stream, and I literally do not understand how anyone is ever going to top it. Even today, Ninja continues to make the news. But that just about wraps up our video on the top 5 Fortnite world records you can never beat. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on push notifications make sure to tune in regularly whenever we upload. Also be sure to check out Top 5 Central, our main hub channel. But yeah guys, thanks for tuning in to Top 5 Gaming, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.